new tonight. Your reporters are in your community tracking dangerous and delinquent drivers. Your reporter in Aurora, Tori Mason, seen there is following fed up police now pulling over and towing vehicles that are not keeping up with vehicle registration and plates. First, though, let's get to Adams County and your reporter Gabriela Vidal, who is following a push to reduce accidents and excessive speeding. City leaders approved more than $200,000 to help start the red light camera program. It begins with two red light cameras. They hope to have them up and running by the beginning of next year. A full year of operations would ultimately cost around $800,000. As your reporter in Adams County, Gabriela Vidal discovered, this isn't about nickel and diming bad drivers. It's along this busy intersection in Thornton at 88th Avenue and Washington Streets. We have been here three years as of August. Where Teresa de Jesus Aceves Peña has been serving up fresh elote dishes. This is a heavily trafficked area and there are a lot of accidents. While witnessing the dangers on the road. Lots, lots. Part of it, quite frankly, is just people's driving behavior. Um, since 2020, they have in some ways lost their minds out there on the roads and are just not really paying attention or, or heeding the things that need to happen. Paul Hawkins is with the Thornton Police Department. We're looking for alternatives that would work even when police officers aren't at the scene of places. Red light cameras are one of those things. Uh, they work 24 seven. They don't require a police officer to be there. 120th Avenue in Colorado Boulevard is one of those intersections that sees high frequency, high severity crashes. But city of Thornton officials and police hope that by implementing a red light camera here, we can see safer roads. Hawkins says they're in the process of getting bids from different companies to lease a red light camera here and a second red light camera at 80th in Washington for the next three years with the help of city funding and fines collected from the cameras. We don't expect to make a ton of revenue. Quite honestly, I'll be happy if we break even on the thing. Hawkins says he hopes the cameras will change people's behaviors on these roads based on statistics from other cities who implemented them. If it does bring down the accidents at these locations, then we'll look possibly at adding more in the future. And giving the right of way for Thornton residents like Teresa to feel safe on and off the road. At the end of the day, it's something that's for the safety of everyone. In Thornton, Gabriela Vidal covering Colorado First.